Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the way I trade the ES on the flexible grid portion of Thinkorswim. So under charts, you go to flexible grid. Um, this is a setup I have right now and we'll go straight into the default settings um, and what I do have already set up right now. Um, I have a second screen right here, so let me go ahead and reset it. So it'll look just like yours for the first time when you guys first open up the flexible grid. So you're going to have something similar to this. Go ahead and um, uh, actually you're going to go over here to the uh, right hand corner. Or actually the one over here, show grid actions. You're going to click customize grid. You have a check mark right there. Once you click customize grid and then these will pop up. So if without it, looks blank. Once you check it, on customized grid you have this feature right here uh, this is just to add window panes above and then this would be to your uh, left or horizontal sides so what you can do is you can erase at least um, or most of these um, create probably let's see two separate uh, window panes right here which will give you, um, uh, you know, just one half of a of a screen, and that is done by clicking the middle icon here. Once you have that, you can go ahead and, if you want to, type in the ES right there to have your ES set up. Okay, and then on the left side, just go ahead and click the far left icon here, the plus with the bracket on top, two times, one. And then another one down here. And then you got your three. So you just push this over by grabbing and dragging it over. Okay. So pretty much at that point, you're done setting your grid to look like mine right here. Okay. To go back here, then we just go to customize grid, turn that off so you don't need that feature anymore. And then you just type in. Uh, the symbols that you're looking at. So ES is going to be over here to your right. And over here, I'm going to minimize this. Oops. Let's go ahead and drag this over so you see exactly. All you need to do is put dollar sign T I C K for the tick. Let's try that again. So dollar sign T I C K enter you have that um, and then dollar sign a D V N and then you're gonna put that minus symbol and dollar sign D E C N for advanced decline press enter okay you're gonna have that and then for the bottom third dollar sign U V O L just to show you when it does pull up you will see in the New York Stock Exchange advanced volume then you subtract that and put minus the dollar sign D V OL, which is the, the declining volume, and then you get that. So let me just expand this real quick. Um, what you want to do, um, I mean, depending on how you trade, but really the way I look at the market internals for the S&P 500 futures is on a one-minute basis. So we just go to one minute for all of these. One minute and one minute here. Okay. So that's the general settings right there. Obviously for your S&P as well, you want to put one minute. And that way when you're scrolling through and you have your cursor here, um, it's all matching, you know. So as it's going, as it's, as the uh, price is moving from left to right, your market internals are also coinciding and moving to from left to right in the same manner. So you have your information. Um, in there and you're able to make a trade decision based off of that 
Now I think in uh, style settings, in order for your cursor to um, match across the board, you just go to settings and crosshair positions. It's under synchronize. So settings or general settings, synchronize, crosshair positions. Just click the check mark there. You can even um, display in the style menu. Press OK. Okay, and then you will see your cursors um, across all three window pane or all four one two three four window panes just uh, uh, synchronized there. Okay, and if you go to style again, it'll show right here in this um, menu as well. So you can turn it off if you want. As you can see, it only shows in one at a time. But if you turn it back on, you can see it in all three, as long as the time base is. Uh, synchronized and exactly the same okay so that's the basic settings of or the basic setup for how to make it look like this now I do have other advanced and extra features here um, that give me you know extremes on the high and low ends of the um, tick as well as the advanced decline and I have support and resistance zones that are built in um, but that is for another time this was just to recap to set up thinkorswim's flexible grid with the ES here to your right and the reason why you have this over here is because I have the active trader open but if we go back to what we just set up it's very similar put active trader on there and uh, that's the only difference right now except for all the support and resistance lines I have in there the tick and advanced decline um, which is very simple really at least for the advanced decline I just um, added the 2000 and 1500 levels on both sides put a zero line in here uh, just to give me an idea of whether the advanced decline is, is moving up or moving down and is it to the extremes so uh, again this isn't a real lesson on market internals and how to trade the S&P this is really just to show you guys how to do the setup on thinkorswim uh, if the, you guys have any questions on any additional things or maybe I might have missed out on a step please let me know and I will um, do my best to make another video on this um, but this was requested by a few people so I thought I'd put it together Hope you guys uh, were able to follow along and were able to set up your charts um, as close as this is possible. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you guys soon. All right.